Hello everyone, I'm going to present on the excitation system for synchronous machine. In synchronous machine, we have the armature winding in the stator and field winding in the rotor. I'm going to talk on the alternator excitation system, function of excitation system and the types of excitation system. Mm, alternator is a synchronous generator. It is an electrical machine which converts mechanical power into electrical power by the principle of electromagnetic induction. Now what does excitation system mean? In simple term, it means the production of flux by passing current in the field winding. It is the process of creating and strengthening the magnetic field of the alternator by providing the necessary direct current to the field winding of the alternator. The important note that you should be keeping in mind out here is that the direct current is supplied to the rotor by a separate DC source called exciter. Function of excitation Number one, to supply direct current to the field winding for creating magnetic field. Number two, to control voltage and reactive power. Number three, to perform protective functions. Now the types of excitation system. There are basically three types. DC excitation system, static excitation system, and AC excitation system. Under AC, we have brushless excitation system and rotating thyristor excitation system. Firstly, the DC excitation system. It consists of a pilot exciter, which is the decision generator and main exciter and alternator. The shaft of the pilot exciter and main exciter is coupled to the alternator shaft. The output from the pilot exciter is given to the field winding of the main exciter and from the this output from the main exciter is given to the field winding of the alternator through brushes and slip rings. Here, due to various problems, it is not used for conveniently for large alternators. Second one is the static excitation system. It consists of CT, PT, step down transformer, regulator, thyristor, and battery bank, and also the alternator. Here, the output of one of the output of the alternator is connected to CT, PT, and the step down transformer. From here, the output is given to the thyristor bridge. Here, the CT, PT, and the regulator are used to trigger the thyristor bridge to provide firing angle. From thyristor bridge, the output goes to the field winding of the alternator through brushes and slip rings. Now, what you should keep in mind out here is that the field winding is energized as long as the alternator is working. If it is not working or it's stationary, then the field winding is not energized. So, initially, we connect up battery bank of 125 volt when the speed reaches to 120 F over P then the battery bank is disconnected and the output from the thyristor bridge is given to the field winding of the alternator. Some advantages include simple in design and provides fast response characteristics as there is no rotating type exciter. The system is free from friction, windage and competitor loss. Improved system performance and extreme control is possible because of the thyristor bridge. Thirdly, the brushless excitation system. It consists of pilot exciter, main exciter, silicon diode bridge rectifier, and thyristor control bridge rectifier, regulator, CT, PT, and alternator. Out here, the pilot exciter is an AC generator, which consists of permanent magnet field on rotor and armature on stator. The output from the pilot exciter is given to the thyristor control bridge rectifier. From here, we obtain a control DC field which is given to the main exciter consisting of armature on rotor and field winding on the stator. The, from the main exciter, we obtain a three phase AC output which is given to the silicon diode bridge rectifier having a hollow shaft, and this rectifier converts the three phase AC output to DC output which is given to the field winding of the alternator. And here the CT, PT and regulator is used to provide a firing angle. Uh, you should also keep in mind that the, the, the shaft of main exciter, field, pilot exciter, silicon bridge rectifier and the field alternator are coupled to each other. Few advantages of the system, excitation system include elimination of brushes and slips, Less maintenance, fast response time. Thank you.